even from Christians. And we're going to go into that some other time. Even from Christians, this known Christian, his stature was standing up, the tallest, the biggest, the baddest before God. And God was forced to answer it. God did not only answer it, God caused Peter to have a dream to tell Peter that, you know what, there is my son over there. You may call him unclean, but he is not unclean. Amen. Right now, Peter is not your memorial coming before me. It is his memorial that is standing before me. Amen. 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 So we don't care who thinks about us. You don't care who thinks about you. Let God have a memorial Amen. from you standing before him. Amen. 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 You can see now, last week when we, when we illustrated that money is a medium of exchange, you can see now that prayer is the medium of exchange. Amen. 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 That it is not working hard. It is not working double. It is not working triple. It is not working and missing church. It is creating a memorial before God. And God will answer all that which pertains to you. Amen. 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 The book of remembrance. Have you ever heard about the book of remembrance in the Bible? Yes. In um, Malachi 3.16. Okay. Yes. See how God approached. God, see how God came to that book of remembrance. He says in Malachi chapter 3 verse 14. You have said it is vain to serve God. What is the profit of our keeping his charge or of walking in um, mourning before the Lord our host? They were questioning that. They were finding it is vain to serve God. It is vain to give to God. It is vain to pay tithes. Before there was tithes, it is vain to do that. But now, God says in verse 16 that those who fear the Lord spoke one another and the Lord paid attention. Amen. Amen. They did what? Pay paid attention. attention. Mm -hmm. Your memorial will pay, make God do what? Pay, pay attention. attention. Then the Lord said, the Lord paid attention and heard them. And a book of remembrance was written before him for those who fear and esteem his name. Amen. Remember, may I have told you, remember in Hebrew, uh, it's not a mental re recollection. Amen? Amen? To remember in Hebrew is a Hebrew, the Hebrew, they, they, they get married today. They go to um, to Timbuktu for their honeymoon. They enter and stay there for two weeks for their honeymoon and they came back. Now, if they have to remember after 10 years, if they have to remember the day that they were uh, uh, they wedded, a Jew, in order to remember, they will have to go to Timbuktu, get into that same room, spend two weeks there and come back, then they have remembered. <laughs> this is the Jewish understanding of remember. It's not a mental recollection like we have today. Amen? Amen. And so when the Lord said, the Lord remembered. Hallelujah. Amen. He remembered. He put a book of remembrance. It means that the Lord will do what he promised to do to you over and over and over again. Amen. May the Lord remember your good works. Amen. Amen. May the Lord remember you. Hallelujah. Amen. That whatever thing that you have ever done that shocked the presence of God, that God will continue to remember you, to remember you. Amen. That's why I say, you know something? I stand here, I know I have a memorial before God. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Uh, the only, the Bible only says Cornelius prayed but he didn't tell, he didn't say, say what he prayed for. Is that right? He said, he didn't talk about what he prayed for. In other words, when God answered, when God answered and sent Peter to him, everything that Cornelius ever prayed for was answered. Amen? Amen. Because everything that belongs to Christ belongs to us. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 All right. And so, this is what happened. And then, um, another thing here, and I say this before I end. In uh, Mark chapter 14, verses 8 and 9 especially, we found a woman that also made a memorial for herself. The woman with the anointing oil. The Bible says, starting from verse 3, and while he was 
as Bethany, that's the Lord Jesus, in the house of Simon the leper, as he was reclining at the table, a woman came with an alabaster flask of ointment of pure oil. Very costly. And she broke the flask and poured it over his head. There were some who said to themselves, in indignant, why was why was the oil, the ointment wasted like that? For this ointment could have been sold for more than 300 denarii and given to the poor. And they scolded her. But Jesus said, leave her alone. Mm -hmm. Why do you trouble her? She has done a beautiful thing mm -hmm. to me. Amen. For you always have the poor with you. Mm -hmm. And whenever you want, you can do good for them. But you will not always have me. She has done what she could. She has anointed my body before I bear her. And truly, I say to you, wherever the gospel is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will be told in memory of her. Amen. 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 The Bible says she did what she could. This woman was a sinner. She probably got her own man. You know, a sinner like that means she was a prostitute. And that oil was very, very expensive. Because with that kind of profession, when you pass places, even if you were not stinking, they say you're stinking. <laughs> And she had that probably to take care of herself to smell sweet. But it was all she may have received it as an inheritance. But what did this woman do? This woman loved the Lord so much. She didn't even pray. But she created a memorial for herself. Amen. And here we are today. The perfume scent has long evaporated. But here we are today still talking about this woman. Why? Because she created a memory for herself. Amen? Amen. Church of God, please, don't pray empty prayers. I would, I would dare to say, if you are not a giver, don't pray. Because it's wasted. Remember the Lord says in Luke 6, 38, give. What will happen? It is only then. It is only then that you will have a good measure. Press down. Shaken together. Press down. Running over. Shaken together. For men to give unto your bosom. Amen. 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 I pray that I have converts today that are going to live a generous life. Amen. In closing, in Isaiah chapter 38. The word of God says that there was a man by the name of Hezekiah. Hezekiah did so many good deeds. Hezekiah tore down the, the, the altars of Baal. Hezekiah, the history says that Hezekiah is the one that restored the temple and did so many things. And then Hezekiah sent, the Lord sent his prophet. Isaiah to come and tell him to put his house in order. And the Bible says <laughs> Hezekiah Tend did not to talk to <laughs> the prophet. Isaiah, <coughs> Hezekiah turned his word to the world. Mm -hmm. What did he say? Remember. Remember what, hear, what, hear what he says. Then Hezekiah turned his face towards the world and prayed unto the Lord. He prayed, right? Mm -hmm. He prayed. But in his prayer, he did what? He recounted what should back his prayer. He prayed and said, Lord, remember. You hear that word again? Mm -hmm. Remember now. <laughs> remember now, O oh Lord, I beseech you, how I have walked before you 
in truth and with a perfect heart. And I have done that which is good in your sight. And Zechariah wept sore. Then the Lord changed. He forced God to, to change his, his decision. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. What are the memorials that are speaking for you? If you don't have any, start creating them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So that when you are standing in a place like Hezekiah, I am not going to die until I build a thousand churches. Amen. 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 I've created some memorials, but I still want to create another memorial. Amen. I want to build at least a thousand churches. Amen. 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 Which means that I want to have at least a thousand pastors Amen. that have been called Amen. to fulfill their purpose before the Lord. Amen. 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 And so, Church of God, this and um, there's still more concerning this, which by the grace of God I'm gonna to speak to you. But some of you may be seeing my face for the last time. Because life is not a guarantee. Amen. 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 But please start establishing a memorial for yourself so that when you stand before God, when you say, You know me, mm -hmm. He's looking at your memorials. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's true. And He will answer you and He will take you where you want to be. Amen. Do you know that there is a woman that was called back from death because of her memorials? Yes. yes. Remember that woman in the book of Acts? Yes. Yes. She was dead, 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 dead. Welcome, Mama. <laughs> Real dead. <laughs> and what happened? The people were just crying because of her memorials. Mm -hmm. And the man of God showed up. Okay. And when they cried, God spoke to the man of God, the woman raised her back from death. So it's not only to prevent you from dying, it will raise you up from death. Amen. 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 Church of God, no more joking. If you have evil in your heart, please purge it, purge it, purge it. If you have unforgiveness in your heart, purge it. Don't take it against some other people. Amen. Amen. Because when you have unforgiveness in your heart, you may not only be angry with the person that may have wronged you, you become angry with the whole world. They poison everything around you. Amen. Amen. How many people want to start today? Even if at least you have not been building a memorial. How many people have received the word of God and they want to build a memorial for the Lord? Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let us stand up before the Lord. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we found it short, Lord God. We found it, Father God, that we are falling short in our prayers and prayer life. Papa, many of us have spent hours before you say in prayer, but it's all empty words. It's counterfeit. Father God, Almighty, this truth has been hidden from many. But today you have opened the eyes of the children that they will see this truth and there is more. Father, I pray, Lord God, that the Lord, the Holy Spirit, would have touched their hearts in such a way, Lord, that beginning now, oh God, just like Hezekiah prayed, Father, that beginning now, Papa, their work Father God will be building memorials for you. Father will be doing, giving their lives for you. It will be a life of obedience before you. Papa, I ask you this, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. And I say, Father, when your children step out in faith to this world, answer in heaven, Lord God. Answer in heaven, Father God, because your word never goes out and come back void. 
Papa for doing the things that Papa they need to do in order to fulfill their own purpose on earth. My Lord, my God, there are many here, Lord, that have suffered just because of that. Papa and yet they have worked. They have in quote prayed. They have in quote done so many things for other God and claim that they are working for you. But this part has been lacking. Even James says, show me your faith by your works. Because your works, only your works that backs your faith. Papa, I pray, Lord God Almighty, that whatever thing that your children have been going through, Lord, when they take even the first step, Lord God Almighty, towards this message that you have sent to your people. Father, answer from heaven and open doors. Yes, you said it the Malachi, that when they take a step, you open doors, Papa God from heaven, that you will not have room for. I'm asking Lord God Almighty that you will do the same here. That when your children take a step, Lord God Almighty, towards creating a backing for their prayers, when they pray, hear from heaven, Lord, and overwhelm them with your blessings. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.